In this video, I will be doing a challenge where I cannot use any health kits with Fuzzy. And Fuzzy naturally has low health, so this is going to be extremely hard. But before we start, make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy the video. With that said, I hope you enjoy. In this first round, I will be using Knockback Spear, Nitro Bow, and Wake Up Coffee. It seems like I'm going to get put in the museum, which is actually really good for me because it usually has OP items in it, especially between the ice. Right now, it seems like I'm getting exactly what I thought I was going to get, a golden bow and a golden spear. Usually, it's just one golden item or weapon that is between the two ice. But this time it also had a golden bow, which is extremely good. And I do want to get this guard just because I can stop anyone else from getting it. And it seems like there is a trophy dropper, but we won't have to deal with him at all. I do want the legendary guard because that will definitely help me in the end. And there is a lot of people over here, but I don't really want to focus on them or attack them yet. I just really want to get this legendary guard, and it seems like a bomb. Not my best weapon, but I do want to get it. Sadly, I think this Nyx is going to get it. I don't want to get hurt by her because, well, I can't use any health kits, so I have to be very safe because I know that late game, when the fire gets close, I could end up getting hit because I don't want to go into the fire either. And thankfully it all worked out, even though I gave up the legendary weapon to that Nyx, eventually I did end up sniping him and getting it back, and whoo, this is a lot of people. I don't really want to get near anyone, um, the only one that I could think could get near, Oh, and there is a buck. I don't want that guy to get me, I really just want to push him, and somehow my knockback spear did a lot of knockback, more than I would have imagined, because it didn't even hit him head on. I do want to get rid of this Larry because he could easily sneak up on me and that will not be good. I don't want that bug to get back to me though. Even though I think he's very low, I really don't want to mess with him. I'm half health, so I'm doing decent, but not too good. And now I'm very low. I don't think I can take another um, shotgun because that, those are very powerful. And now I'm literally at nothing. Um, I'm very scared. I'm just trying to push this guy back. I don't know how they didn't hit me. That was super close. I really don't know what to do anymore. Hopefully I can get him, hopefully I can get him. Mm, and I put him on the last spot. I don't know what to do. I'm at nothing. I just, I'm gonna have to play the rest of this game extremely safe. The big issue is that I just keep on finding so many different people. I mean, I have already found, or at least killed nine different people and I've found a lot more. I don't know why. I'm pretty sure that I started with 30 or 45 people because I've seen too many people for it to start off with only 15 people. I've already killed another one and I missed that one. The boost got it. The boost should be easy to get, especially since he's in the fire. It's not like I can keep him in there though. Hopefully that trap, um, you know, stops him and thankfully it did. I know that he's going to go for that med kit, so I'm really just going to aim for that med kit because it's just the obvious place to aim for. And then after him, there is actually no one. There's only one last player, and this is cutting it very close because he keeps on getting near me. I don't think he's going to be able to get me. And that is it. I won the first round with 13 kills as a level eight, and I had very, very little health. And as a matter of fact, I think that was one of my best plays that I've ever had with Fuzzy since I just got him a few weeks ago. But other than that, that was it for this first round, and now for the second. In this last round, I will be using the same build as I did in the last game. So right now I'm getting put in the savannah. It doesn't look too good. In the savannah, you can never get um, a silver, at most silver, but um, you'll never get a gold. So that's not the best. I don't have anything good. I actually don't know exactly what it's called. I think it's bronze, which is the worst um, well level of weapons. I don't really know what it's called, so tell me what it is in the comments below. I do want to get these guys off of me. I didn't really want to fight them, and thankfully I didn't lose any health in the process, but I just wanted to collect that med kit so that no one else could, because Nyxes can be very annoying, not only in the end game, but really in any time of the game. So letting them get that med kit would be a bad option. 
I'm just now noticing that I have full silver, which is really good. I don't want to take too much damage from this um, fuzzy. And just like that, I got him knocked out. I want to kill this Bruce so I can get that um, golden bow. Because since I have nitro bow, I could easily snipe people from really far away. I feel like we're just going to go in circles here. And finally, as I predicted, we went in circles, but eventually I did get out and I really do want this bow. One thing that I like doing before collecting a weapon, if you can, I would just use the weapon that you have. If it's a range one, even if it's a bomb from a buck, I would just use your bomb, throw it at whoever is near you, and then immediately after collect it. Ooh, I'm getting very close to him. I did have to use both of my items, but that is perfectly fine because that could have been the game right there. I really don't want to get near him. Thankfully, my active ability or my passive ability is definitely working to my advantage. I don't want to get hit right here because a hit from that Pepper's bow can definitely end me easily. Thankfully though, I do get that spear, which will definitely give me more range. I'm really just gonna kind of camp here. Thankfully, um, he doesn't know where I am. Even though in a bush, he would be able to see me. He definitely can't see me through houses. And oh my God, just like last round, I am extremely low. Thankfully I killed him. I'm not going to waste my item space on that shield though. I'm going to collect that. Now that I think about it, it's kind of a waste, but whatever. Um, I am extremely low. I can't heal at all. Um, at least I have a barricade just in case. And there is one last character. And I actually think that could... I think that's actually one of the worst characters for me to be able to fight. Because I was just talking about the barricade. And that is literally going to do nothing to it. I'm just trying to aim at him. But I don't think that's going to do anything. That barricade, I just placed it out of instinct, but this isn't gonna help because all of his weapons come from the sky, which I honestly find as too OP because he could easily just kill characters that can't block him in any way possible. But yeah, and oh, I don't even know what just happened there. I think my bow somehow went through the barricade, but I didn't see for sure. And, um, well, that is it for this video, guys. I did lose that last round. I was in second place. But anyways, that is it for this video, guys. If you did enjoy, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And with that said, I will see you guys next time.